Hey guys, have you heard about Biden's new nominee for the director of the ATF? His name is David Chipman and he has been with the ATF for quite a while now and he has been involved in several big investigations that the ATF has done over the years, including Waco and Oklahoma City, 9-11. And if you go back and look at his history, he has a very anti-gun stance on most of the things that he does. Uh, you can look at some of the videos that he's made or some of the statements that he's made over the years and he is very negative toward gun owners and even makes fun of them in a couple of places. Uh, and he has decided that he wants to ban assault weapons. But when he is confronted in the Senate confirmation hearings by uh, Senator Kennedy from Louisiana, and Senator Kennedy is trying to get him to define what a assault weapon is, he cannot give him a definition of his own for that assault weapon. He tries to go back to what the ATF determines an assault weapon to be, but he will not give Senator Kennedy a straight answer as far as what he considers an assault weapon. So if a man cannot tell you what an assault weapon is, what is he going to ban? Just any semi-automatic rifle, semi-automatic pistol? What's well, an assault weapon? So if the man can't define it, then he doesn't need to be in that position. Uh, so if you have any concerns about the ATF and the direction that they may be going under David Chipman if he gets confirmed by the Senate, then contact your senator. Go to congress.gov and you can find all of the contact information for your senator. Get in touch with your senator and let them know that you do not want them to vote yes on David Chipman. Do it fairly quickly because he's still in his confirmation hearings and they're going to get around to doing something with him sooner or later. Uh, the government doesn't act very quickly, as you know, but we need to go ahead and get this done so that we can get him out of there and help preserve our Second Amendment rights because the ATF does have a lot of power as far as what they can do to restrict what gun owners can do because they've already made uh, rulings on shoulder or arm braces for uh, AR pistols. They go back and forth on that, whether they want to ban that or not. There's other things that they're, they've banned, like bump stocks and other things like that, that may or may not be bad things, but they shouldn't have all of that power, especially under somebody that is anti-gun to begin with. So contact your senators, check out doublelegalgunworks.com. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.